So in this video, I want to introduce you to the uh, Cantena Mini. Now, this design was a design I came up with because my son, my eldest son, is uh, currently traveling around the world with his uh, fiance, and uh, they don't have a lot of luggage. They're basically doing it with uh, something no bigger than a backpack. So, uh, you know, the luggage and uh, how much they can take is a bit of a problem. So I came up with this design rather than him uh, lugging around a uh, full-size cantenna just so uh, he can get uh, connected to the access points to keep in touch with friends and family and upload all his uh, pictures to Facebook, etc. So I uh, designed this out of something simple that you can get hold of and it's turned out to be quite a nice little uh, compact cantenna and certainly when you compare it next to the longer range one it's probably only about 2 dB less than the uh, longer range one possibly 3 dB I don't know I have to work it out but uh, it certainly uh, you know is a, a nice little antenna for its uh, compact size and I have had a few people asking me if uh, I would produce something like a cantenna but a little bit smaller um, you know more along the lines of the classic uh, coffee uh, can cantenna sort of size so this is what I come up with so let me show you how I went about building this hopefully it won't be too long of a video so as for the can for the uh, Cantenna Mini then, um, there's uh, a couple of options you can use. Uh, this is uh, one of these uh, cheap money boxes that you can get for around a pound. I can't use this one because it's got uh, money in at the uh, moment. But you can pick these up in most cheap shops for a pound. But uh, what I'm going to use is this, which um, is a uh, container for sugar. And I was in one of my uh, local uh, cheap shops here in the UK, Home Bargains, and they were selling these for 75 pence each, and uh, they had, you know, sugar, tea and coffee. So I bought a few of these. Basically, you don't have to mess around with a can opener for these. So uh, that's what I'm going to use for the uh, basis for the Cantina Mini. But uh, you can use one of these money boxes, just get a can opener and just uh, remove the top from here. Remember to leave this uh, ridge in place because that gives it structural integrity if you uh, get the can opener and cut it along here then you know it'll be a little bit uh, floppy and have no strength to it but uh, that's a couple of options and these are uh, quite cheap and you can pick them up from almost anywhere so i'm going to drill a hole for the main driven element first then in this can and uh, the diameter of this can is a hundred millimeters so and the uh, money boxes are the same diameter as well. Now, for 100 millimeters, you want the main driven element to be uh, 44 millimeters away from uh, the base at the bottom here. So you want to uh, be careful and not measure on this bottom lip here because the base doesn't start until a few millimeters in. So I'm going to put my ruler up against this ridge here and then add another millimeter in for the uh, thickness of the metal. So I'm going to put a mark here at 45 millimeters and that's where I'm going to drill my hole for my main driven element. So I've drilled a hole in the can as you can see, just tied it up with a file and deburred it a little bit, just clean it up. Um, I've also removed some of the paint around here because uh, this is the driven element here. I'm not going to go over the driven element because I've just released a uh, video on this on its own but uh, because of the material of these uh, cans you can solder directly onto this so that's what we're going to do is solder the SMA connector onto the can so it's permanently fixed with the uh, longer cantenas that I've been making um, I haven't been able to get a hold of any that um, uh, I've been able to solder, on, solder onto for quite a while so I've been uh, drilling and tapping little holes and uh, connecting these with screws on them it's just um, I think they've changed the mix of the alloys that they use in there and uh, you just won't take any solder anymore but uh, you can solder fine on these ones so I'm just going to use the soldering iron and uh, flood solder along the sides of this SMA connector to uh, attach it firmly in place the uh, length of the driven element needs to be uh, 31.25 millimeters long and uh, I've added a millimeter into that to take account of the thickness of the uh, tin can as well so I've got the soldering iron turned up quite high and I'm just going to use the soldering iron get some heat in between here and then flood some soldering I've also got it on a uh, piece of wood with some masking tape all held in place so uh, it doesn't move around I've got that side tacked in so now I'll go to the other side doing 
this it's all about getting the heat in there so the solder will flow so now I've got both sides tucked in I'm going to remove this masking tape and do the other two sides and then do a final clean up and I can always use the Dremel, Dremel to clean up uh, any uh, solder that flows away from there just to tidy it up a little bit now we've got it tacked in there I've also moved it to the side a little bit as you can see just to let gravity uh, assist me a little bit in getting the solder to flow so this is what I use for the uh, tripod mount then I've been using this uh, for a while now on my other antennas and it's probably the best method I've ever come up with uh, some people will solder a nut in place to uh, attach the uh, tripod some people will even drill a hole in the antenna to attach the tripod but uh, these little corner brackets you can pick up these pretty cheaply from your hardware store off of eBay and uh, with this one I'm going to use two I'm going to rivet this one to the uh, body of the antenna and then I'm going to get a uh, slightly thicker rivet and rivet those two together like so and then uh, here I've uh, tapped it out with uh, the threads for the tripod and I can just screw the tripod into this part here so I'm going to attach this about uh, 30 millimeters in from the uh, end of the antenna around there drill a hole and then uh, rivet that in place there and then rivet this second piece onto there like so and that will give us our tripod mount so to block off the end to protect the element in the inside of the can I'm going to use cork just like I do on the uh, bigger antennas. this is uh, three millimeter thick cork it's uh, floor tiles I buy a pack of ten of these for uh, ten pounds from my local hardware shop so uh, they're pretty cheap and uh, what I'm going to do is just cut out a square just slightly bigger than the uh, diameter of the can and then I'm going to epoxy it in place and once it's set I'll use the can to cut away the excess and then shape around it to tidy it up so I've just mixed up some epoxy and what I'm going to do now is uh, put it around the inside edge of the can like so and then mix it up on the uh, cork as well because we'll be using all of this epoxy So I've got it all around the edge and what I do now is just put it on top of the cork and on a cold day like this um, it's a good idea to get a hairdryer just heat it up around the edge to get that uh, epoxy to flow back down again put a weight on top and just leave it for 15-20 minutes. So I'm about to give the uh, Cantena Mini a test and I've decided to do it side by side with uh, my longer range Cantena. You can see I've built this jig on here on my bench I've got it uh, normally attached to my camera boom so it's uh, pretty high off the bench so let's give them a scan side by side and see what kind of results we get so you can see the longer range one is picking up a few more access points we'll give it time to settle So you can see on the access points that the uh, both the antennas have picked up. Uh, you got a slight increase, uh, probably around uh, a couple of dB, 3 dB uh, more power on the longer range one. But certainly the uh, Cantena Mini is no slouch. It's definitely uh, picking up uh, quite a few access points there. Keeping up with the longer range one, but as I say, it's just that little bit of a percentage drop difference between the two. And that makes a lot of sense. The uh, longer range one has a much narrower beam so it can pick up those access points from further away but the uh, shorter range, the Cantena Mini one, will have a slightly wider beam so depending on uh, how you want to use uh, the antenna itself uh, possibly the Mini may be better for you at what you want to do picking up more access points at a closer range than uh, possibly the uh, longer range one but you can see it's definitely no slouch so as it showed in that test then, it's uh, not a bad performing uh, little uh, cantenna, especially when you consider it's half the size of the longer range one. Yes, I mean it can't compare with uh, range when you compare it to the uh, longer range one, but it's certainly uh, no slouch. It did pick up quite a few access points and uh, the power difference between the two isn't that much, you know, for half the size. 
and uh, it's if you want uh, something that's a little bit more compact like this one then uh, you know this will probably uh, do the job for you so what I'm going to do is uh, make up a few of these pop them in the uh, eBay shop and see how they go because I have had a few people ask if I would make a uh, smaller version as I said at the beginning of the video but uh, certainly in that test, I mean, uh, you know, you saw it for yourself. I mean, if uh, you do want something slightly smaller, then have a go at uh, making one of these. And, you know, the uh, the can that I use for this, you can use one of those money boxes, as I said. You can pick them up uh, quite universally, pretty cheaply. Or one of the uh, coffee, uh, tea and sugar uh, cans that you can pick up from the uh, cheap shops. So as far as this uh, Cantena Mini design goes, I think, uh, you know, it's pretty rock solid. I think one thing I will take a look at doing is uh, possibly building another one and uh, moving the tripod mount from the front here and try and squeeze it on at the back. I think that'll help a little bit more with stability when it's on the uh, little tripod. But if you do have a go at building one of these, then uh, please let us know how you uh, got on in the comments. And uh, if you did enjoy the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, drop them below. And hopefully, you'll join me on the next one.